Hi, welcome. My name is Carrie. I'm going to be your painting instructor today. And today you're going to learn how to paint a beautiful painting that you can hang on the wall and sign your name to it. So let's go over some of the materials you will need. You will need a canvas and I recommend using one that's already primed and has the corners so you can just hang up on the wall. <clears throat> you will also need two paintbrushes. A large one and a small one. The large one we're going to use to fill up a lot of space on the canvas. This is a one inch and then a smaller one, a three eighths inch. And this one's a little smaller than the one I had, but that will be, that will work. You want it about three eighths inches. This is a little smaller. Let's go over the colors that are required to fill this painting up. We have five colors. We have a white, a cream, more like a neutral skin tone, uh, a gray, this is a neutral gray, and a dark color such as black. This one's actually Payne's gray, which is almost black. And then a bright, fun color, which you're going to fill in for the umbrella. I'm using red, but yellow, green, blue, those all work just as great. You also need some water to rinse your paintbrushes out and thin out the paintings, and some paper towel to kind of dry up the paintbrush in between changes of paint. So, let's get started. Now, for this demonstration video, I am going to have the painting already completed, and I'm going to talk through the steps just to get, you know, you set up. When you hit pause, you can finish that step and come right back. Okay, so get your large paint brush out, the one inch. Now we're going to use mostly white. We're going to just dab a little of the cream color in with the white and just get it on your paint brush. You don't really need to mix it in with the paint. You'll use less paint that way. Have your paint brush a little wet. If it's already wet, go for it. If not, just add a little bit of water to the paint. Brush. And then start in the center of your paint brush. With your or your painting, your canvas, and just get some of that paint on there. The canvas is dry, so it's going to absorb a lot of paint. So just fill that in. Now, as we get a little further from the center, add a little more cream. That way, it's bright inside and it kind of dims out. It gets a little like a foggy kind of look. Just fill that all in. Get some more paint. Make sure you have a little bit of water on your paintbrush. That'll make it a lot easier just to get a lot of paint on it. Okay, welcome back. Again, I'm Carrie, your instructor for painting this masterpiece, teaching you how. So, in my first se session, I taught you how to make this soft, really soft white background. And then I explained to add or maybe this is the next step, um, to add more of the light gray. So now that you blended the white and the cream together, we're going to do the same with the, the gray. And this is a, called a neutral gray. And then you're going to start, you're not going to go touching right there. You're going to go out just a little further. Make sure your one inch paintbrush has a little bit of water on it so the paint's not so thick and you're fighting the canvas. So let it just kind of glide with your paintbrush. And once you get that on, then you can just keep the paintbrush. And this is kind of um, softening them together. So the colors come together. And since they're both white or wet, it'll go really nice. All right. Now, now that that's blended with a little bit of the cream color, now just take some more neutral gray and fill in all this area. And just make it darker. Get a little bit of water on your paintbrush so you're not fighting the canvas so much. Letting it a thin layer of acrylic paint. Go all the way around. And keep working with it until you just feel like it's a really nice, subtle feel. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're done with the, the big paintbrush. So clean that off, dry it, and then we're going to use our 3 8 inch paintbrush and we're going to do the details. So let's start with 
the bottom of the person. So we're just going to take a little bit of paint, the black or the dark gray or whatever color you want to use, dark purple is good. So just get a little bit and then mark it. So right now this is a couple inches above and I'm going to kind of use my eyes to kind of center it and just do a little dab. And that's going to guide where your paintbrush goes. So get a little more paintbrush and you're just going to kind of use the thin edge and you're going to trace it around. I'm going to bring this a little closer. So again, you're going to dab that and then just bring a V down, a real thin V. And then fill in the color and then have the body come up a little further and same with up here and then do a little arm. It doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, the arm kind of comes out and goes up a little but not much. So it's not quite a straight line, just a little bit lower. And don't worry about how high the body is because we're going to cover it with the umbrella. Okay, so once that's filled in, rinse your brush out pretty good, dry it so it's getting all that dark color off. Now the tricky part is the umbrella and let's see if this video worked and I'll get back with the umbrella. Hey, welcome back. I'm Carrie again. I'm going to follow up with um, the final part of the painting or at least the umbrella and let's get going. So right now you should have the soft background with the gray you know, kind of give it a fuzzy, foggy feeling. And then you should have your body. Um, one thing I would like to, before I do the umbrella, is to do the reflection on the ground. So take your cream color, and the name of this is Titanium. So just draw a line across there, and that should give the, you know, so it's not floating it'll give it kind of a base and it'll be more pleasing to the eye. And then just kind of get your paintbrush, whatever's paint on there, and just kind of dab it across. Now use your black or dark gray or whatever color is you're using for your dark. And then just don't have to get a lot of paint on it, not too much. If you have too much, just kind of wipe it on your mat and palette. And just draw just a couple lines. There you go, and that's it. Now one thing after you draw this white, this creamy color base foundation, is go back with your dark and fill in the, the feet. That way it doesn't look like it's cut off or floating, it's, it's on the ground. So the ground kind of comes through. So Okay, so there you go. That should look, that's pretty easy to do or it should be. Um, it's all based on how much paint you have on your, your, your paintbrush. So let's get to the fun part. Now the umbrella is probably the hardest of the painting. So a little trick is to start with the red and then just do a circle and fill that in. Just fill that in. And don't go all the way around the umbrella stay kind of like a smaller umbrella and the reason why is because these little pokes coming out um, it's not a full circle so it if you add the pokes later it's going to make it look like a really big umbrella so fill that in and get my paintbrush that I dropped now once you fill in like a pretty good size circle smaller than how you want it then go and do about six, maybe eight pokes. So one, two, three, and again, you're using red. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight, and I counted an umbrella, and I believe they have eight pokes. So, so after that, then you combine the, the red pokes and kind of, you know, do a little swoop. Don't go straight across. Don't go over. Go under, like concave it. So there you go. Get more paintbrush paint. There you go. You're really nice. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of your style. You make it unique on your own. So now I'll rinse that red. You know, after you fill it all in, 
So clean off your brush. Now we're going to use, we're going to do the little indentations, the little, the reflections of the umbrella. Get just a little bit of cream on your paintbrush, and then just go in the middle and boop, there you go. That's all you need to do for that. Don't get too much paint on it because we don't want it to be a lot of cream. So when you pokes, just follow it all the way and don't hit the base, don't hit the center. Just follow your paintbrush from the pokes up. There you go. Your umbrella is done. That was the hard part. Okay, I'm going to hit pause and come back. Hi, I'm Carrie, and I'm back, and I'm going to do the final part of this painting to teach you. Okay, so the last part is to get the rain coming down. And this is a fun part, but it's also kind of a little nervous because you don't know what's happening to your painting as, as it's, you know, coming down. The, the drips of the paint. So just have fun with it. Don't let it, you know, sometimes as it's coming down, it might be too big of a drip and it might get you a little nervous, but just kind of let it do its own thing. So there's two ways to do the rain. And what you could do is get your paintbrush, maybe get a little wet water on your paintbrush, and just kind of let your paintbrush kind of hold it loosely and let it kind of fall. I mean, guide it so it's straight. But you don't want to get real tight because then it's going to be kind of jagged and it looks, looks homemade. You know, you want to kind of like let it look like rain as it's coming down. Or the way I did this one is I got a lot of water on my paintbrush and I got a lot of paint on my paintbrush so it's, it's looked really thick. And I just kind of started dabbing it. And it wasn't coming down really good you know it kind of stayed up here and it might be because I'm just using a flat surface I think it would work better on a real tight canvas so I just kept adding more water and once I got like a little rain groove and it, if it didn't go further if it just stopped right here I'd put more water and it would follow that same groove and I just kind of let it kind of happen so, and there was so much paint on the top that I just kind of like took my paintbrush after and kind of poured it, you know, kind of smoothed it out. Um, what else can I teach you? So, um, if your red umbrella is still wet as this one was, when you do the water, it'll, it'll pick up the rain, the, the red, and it'll start dripping down, which is kind of like a unique look. I didn't expect that, and I liked it. So there you go, there you have it. And don't forget to sign your painting, and of course hang it up on the wall. And hopefully you enjoy it as much as I had fun teaching.